Hello guys, good evening. Can everyone listen to me? Todos me escuchan? Hello? Yes. Okay, great. So welcome guys to this class. Um, probably in some of your houses or the places where you live, it's raining. And uh, well, let me introduce myself. My name is Nelson Adonai Ramirez, okay? So I'm going to be with you during this module. But um, before we start, antes de iniciar, I will say this in Spanish, okay? Uh, si hay algún problema de audio, situación, cualquier cosa que no esté claro o no me escuchen bien, please let me know, okay? Háganos saber, okay? Okay. No. Okay. Si todos escuchan, verdad? Yes. Are you all understanding or listening to me? Yes. Yes. Okay. It's only Jessica and Patricia who are saying yes. What about the others? Okay. Thanks so much, Julio. Chris, can you listen to me? Can you listen? Yes. Is that a yes? Well, so I hope everybody can listen to me. So as I was saying, welcome to this class. Um, I hope we're more. I don't know how many students we're going to be. Eh, entiendo que ustedes son modulo uno, okay? So the majority of you do not speak English, right? So you're here to learn. Si sí, están acá para aprender. So if there's something, hay algo que no entiendan, o de repente estoy hablando muy rápido, o de repente necesitan que explique algo en español, let me know, okay? So because we are going to try to work together. Sí, vamos a estar trabajando juntos, okay? If you do not understand, si no entiende algo, ask, pregunte. If you don't if you know or if you want to say something, si quiere decir algo en inglés y no sabe cómo decirlo, pregunte, ¿ok? We are here to learn. Estamos acá para aprender and try to get the language, ¿sí? Y empezar con este idioma que es English. So, um, I can see that some <laughs> others are connecting. Veo que algunos más están conectando, so... Um, well, so I don't know how many students you are. La verdad que no sé cuántos estudiantes son, but I hope that during, during this hour, we can get so many students, okay? Um, well, for the ones that just connected, para los que se acaban de conectar, once again, my name is Nelson Ramirez, okay? So in case you have any question or something, tienen preguntas o algo, we have the WhatsApp group, okay? Tenemos el grupo de WhatsApp. He visto que solo hay como cinco o seis personas en el grupo. So I suggest you, le sugiero to the others to try to uh, try to connect through the WhatsApp group, okay? So we can be in touch. Podemos estar eh, ahí en comunicación, okay? So um, once again, if during the class you have any question, let me know. Sí, háganos saber. Si durante la clase no entiende algo, let me know and tell me. Teacher, I don't understand. I need your help. I need to do this. I need to do that. Okay? So, um, before we start, antes de empezar, we have to, by guidelines of InSupport, por reglas de InSupport, tenemos que mostrarle un video to every one of you. Okay? So, uh, you let me know if you guys can see it. It's a four minutes video. What is the video about? De que se trata el video? It's about all the opportunities that InSupport has. So that's a requirement that on the first class, all the students need to watch the video. Okay? Okay. Yes? All right. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> Perfect. Okay. So, uh, Beatriz, can you listen to me? Puedes escuchar? Yes? Hola. Puedes escuchar bien? Can escucha. you listen? Sí. Nah, yes, we listen to you, but do you listen to me? Me escuchas a mí? Sí, te escuchamos. Perfect. So, 
great. So like, just let me go ahead and and play the video for you. Just give me one moment so I can see. Okay, just a moment. So I, I will try to uh, to get the, the information here. So just let me see. Okay, so apparently I'm having some issues here. Okay, let's let me go here. All right, so I'm gonna play it right now, and and you let me know. Can everyone see it? Si todos pueden verlo. Can everyone see? Pueden confirmar, no. please. You cannot see it. Yes. Thank you. Yes. yes. Okay. So you. Okay. Uh, so I will try to play it here, but I don't know. It's it's in. So um. Uh, as you can see, it's it's running there, but probably you won't be able to listen to it because uh, the audio is not necessarily here. Um, so it's just take a look. Solo lo vamos a ver y tratar de leer lo que dice abajo, the subtitles, ¿sí? Los subtítulos. Then um, it's just general information, okay? Okay. Great. So okay. just watch it.
Okay, um, well guys, that was pretty much all. Uh, the reason why we do this is because uh, it is a requirement. It is just a matter to, to show you the different programs that Insaford can offer you. So that's the reason why we do that, okay? So uh, I see that we just have 13 students, tres estudiantes. Probably, I don't know how many you are, no sé cuántos son, uh, I will request you, uh, si les voy a pedir que tengan sus microphones off, microphones off, please. Sus micrófonos apagados, so we can all listen clear. Because sometimes we can listen to the barks, barks of the dogs, algunos perros in the background, you know, the barking, and some different sounds. So if everyone is quiet, uh, and, um, unless I ask you a question or I, I ask you to participate, I pido que participen. So in that case, you can turn your microphone on and we can try to uh, speak, okay? I understand that this is your first time. Si entiendo que es la, la primera vez para algunos, probablemente algunos entiendan una, dos palabras o tres. That's, that's okay. So that the reason why we're here is because we're going to learn. So we just have one hour, guys. Solo tenemos una hora, okay? So we're gonna try to learn. Vamos a tratar de aprender as much as possible. Once again, si durante la explicación de la clase usted tiene preguntas, hágalas. Todas las preguntas que usted tenga. No importa si no entendió dos, tres veces, ask the questions, okay? Because it is important that you all understand, que todos entiendan el tema. So today, as it is our first day, let me, let me show you what's going to be today's class. Today's class is going to be about greetings and the verb be. Todos pueden ver la presentation. Can everyone see it? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Thank yes. you very much. Uh, yes. OK. Thank you. So um, well. Before we start, uh, let me tell you that um, I can see, okay, thank you. I was gonna say the microphone, okay? Uh, well, I, I will tell you a little bit about my experience. Uh, I have been working as a teacher for three years. I also have experience in call center. I speak English and I also speak French, okay? <clears throat> so, in, in case you have any question, feel free to ask. Sean libres de poder preguntar. Una vez más, tenemos el grupo de WhatsApp. Para los que no se han agregado al grupo de WhatsApp, por favor, chequen sus emails. Que en los emails les enviaron toda la información y ahí está el link para que puedan entrar al grupo de WhatsApp. Ok. So we can be in touch there. Si hay alguna pregunta de algún ejercicio que no entienden en the platform, Lo pueden hacer ahí para poderles ayudar. So we can all be there. So uh, we're going to check today, guys, as you can see there. Greetings. We say this greetings using the verb to be. Does any one of you have any idea? Alguien tiene una idea. What is the verb be? Alguien tiene idea de qué es el verb be? No? No. Not at all. Not at all. Okay. Anyone? No. No. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, you have yes. Jonathan. Yes. Okay, Jonathan, what can you tell us about the bird B? What do you know? Que sabes del bird B? 
Uh, the verb to be is mm -hmm. in Spanish, ser o estar. Okay, yeah. All right, yes, you got something. Anyone else? Alguien más tiene una idea? Or it's only Jonathan? Well, I guess nobody else. But as Jonathan said, como Jonathan dijo, the verb be in Spanish significa ser o estar. Sí, yo soy, tú eres, ella es, él es, nosotros somos, ustedes son, and so on and so on. Ser o estar, every single time. So let's try to check. Let's see. We have the verb be. El verbo to be, chicos, se trabaja de tres formas. We have three forms. We have am, is, are. Am, is, are. Cada uno de estos trabaja con un pronombre diferente. But listen to the pronunciation, okay? Am, is, are. Am, is, are. Okay, let me see. Julio. Can you try to make the pronunciation of the three? Puedes tratar de hacer la pronunciación de los tres, Julio? Julio Aguillón. M is R. Thank you very much. Let's see, Felix Gonzalo. Can you do the same thing? Puedes hacer lo mismo? M is R. Correct. Let's see, uh, Wilfredo Agonel, I see. Can you do the same thing? I is R. No, we say this one M. M. Oh, ah, M. M uh, is R. Okay. Thank you very much. M Let's see. Juan Jose Peñate, can you do the same thing? M is R. Correct. Thank you. Patricia Campos, do the same thing, please. Uh, M is R. Chris. Let's see, Chris. Um, is, are. Uh, okay, uh, this one, guys, esta de acá, eh, Americans, los americanos, dependiendo el estado de, de donde vivan, lo pronuncian am or am. Las pronunciaciones am o am, ambas son correctas. Por ejemplo, yo digo I am or I am. Las dos son correctas. Okay, so the Didana, Didana, is that your name? Si así, así es tu nombre, Didana? Si, Didana. Oh, si. oh, okay, okay. Can you do the same thing? Puedes hacer lo mismo? M is R. Okay, Jonathan, can you please go ahead and do the same thing? M is R. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so I need you guys to memorize. Necesito que no tal vez se memoricen, but to, to try to, you know, to practice it. Practicarlo. Las tres. Estas son three forms. Three forms of the verb be. Now, it is important, or we are going to see later on, vamos a ver más adelante, how these three, como estas tres formas, how do they work? Como trabajan with the pronouns. So let's see what we have. Here we have the personal pronouns, los pronombres personales. ¿Cuáles son ellos? Yo, tú, nosotros, ellos, él, ella, eso. And how is the pronunciation? I, you, no es you, ¿ok? En la escuelita probablemente cuando fuimos nos enseñaron que es you. Pero en inglés no se dice you. Es una como you, 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 ¿ok? You, we, they, he, she, it. Otra cosa muy importante, chicos, es saber pronunciar ella. En nuestro idioma, el español, tenemos la che. La che de choza, de chalate, the chucho, the chuco, and so on, right? But in English, in English, la letra SH se va a pronunciar un aire. Es un aire nada más. Es shh, like that. Como cuando arriamos a los pollos. Shh, 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 like that. Okay? So this one, we say it 
she, she, okay? So uh, once again, I, you, we, they, he, she, it. Que significa yo, tú o ustedes, nosotros, we, ellos, they, he, significa él, she, ella, and it, lo utilizamos para cosas, objetos y animales. ¿Ok? Now, a estas tres de acá, he, she, and it, les llamamos third person, tercera persona, third person. Cada vez que usted escuche que digan third person, estamos refiriéndonos a he, she, and it, tercera persona. Now, necesito que todos me hagan la pronunciación de los pronombres personales. Les voy a dar un, un número y tienen que seguir ese orden. Vamos a empezar con Didana, va a ser la número uno. Jonathan, número dos. Juan José Peñate, número tres. Julio Aguillón, número cuatro. Chris, number five. Beatriz Guadalupe, number six. Félix Gonzalo, number seven. Wilfredo Agonel, number eight. Patricia Campos, number nine. Jessica Hernández, number ten. And Rebecca, eleven. Rebecca de Benavides. Jorge Luis Castaneda, twelve. And Erica del Carmen, thirteen. Okay, so now you know your number. Ya saben su número. Let's go. I, mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. we, okay. they, they, he, she. Correct. It. Perfect. Thank you very much, Didana. Let's go with yes. number two. I, you, we, they, he, she, it. Perfect. Thank you very much. Number three. I, you, we, they, she, it, he. Okay. Okay. You changed the order, cambiaste el orden, pero you said it perfect. Okay. So let's go. Number four. Let's see who's number four. I, you, okay. mm -hmm. we, they, he, she, it. Okay, thank you very much. Let's see number five. I, you, we, they, he, he, she, it. Okay, Chris, I will, I will, I will, I will ask you to say it again. Te voy a pedir que lo repitas después porque tuvimos ahí unas cositas. Desde acá, desde básico, vamos a empezar a tratar de mejorar nuestra pronunciación para cuando lleguemos a intermedio o algo por el estilo, vayamos subiendo de nivel, no tengamos problemas al pronunciar, ¿sí? El, el motivo de hacer esto, the reason why we do this, guys, is because pronunciation is very important, ¿sí? La pronunciación is very important. So, este de aquí no es you. No, no you, no es you, you, ok? Este no es they, es they. Él es he, como J, he. She and it, ok? So Chris, I will ask you later, después, te lo, los vas a volver a repetir. You will repeat it again, ok? But thank you so much for participating. Let's go with, uh, who's the next one? ¿Quién es el siguiente? Uh, I. Okay. I. Okay. <laughs> you, you, we, they, he, she, it. Correct. Thank you very much. Who is the next one? I, you, we, they, he, she, it. Okay, Felix. We have the same situation here. Recuerden, you. no es you, ¿ok? Sí, tenemos todos ese problemita, but 
We are going to work on that. Vamos a trabajar en eso. You, you, okay? But thank you very much, Felix. Okay. Who is the next one? The next one? Eh, no sé qué número es, pero yo soy la nueve. Okay, so I, I get... Ocho, ocho Wilfredo. Wilfredo, ocho. Oh, okay, Wilfredo, let's go. I, you, we, they, she, is, she, is. Hmm, it's not, it's not okay. she. Sí, no, no es chi como en nuestro español, es como, como airecito, chi, como cuando arreglan los pollos, sh, 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 like that, ¿sí? Chi, chi. Ok, but thank you. Who is the next one? Siguiente. I, you, we, they, he, she, it. Correct, thank you very much. Who is the next one? I, you, he, they, he, she, it. Okay, thank you. Who is the next one? El siguiente, chicos. Who is the next one? You forgot your number, so I... I'll build number. Okay, let's go. I... You, we, they, he, she, it. Perfect. Thank you very much. And I guess the last one is Erica. Or who is the next one? Uh, okay, let's go. I, you, we, they, he, she, it. Perfect. Thank you very much. So thank you guys for participating. As I said at the beginning, vamos a tratar de mejorar nuestra pronunciation desde el inicio, okay? Since the basic, okay? So now let's see what else do we have. Now, ¿se recuerdan de las tres formas del verb be? Sí. M, E, S, R, correct? Now, vamos a ver con qué pronombres trabaja cada uno. Now, we have the first one. Tenemos el primero. M trabaja solamente con I. Yo soy, si yo quiero decir yo soy, I am. Yo estoy, I am. Okay? Now, let's go. And let's see. We have are. Tenemos you are, we are, they are. Okay? Now, let's see the third person, la tercera persona. He is, she is, it is. ¿Sí? Remember, ¿qué dijimos que significa el verbo to be? What does it mean? Cero estar en español. Cero estar. So keep that in mind. We have to keep that in mind to remember. So if I want to say, si yo quiero decir yo soy, I am. Tú eres, you are. O tú estás, You are, ¿por qué? Significa ser o estar. Keep that in mind, okay? So here we have, I am, you are, we are, they are, he is, she is, it is, okay? So can I have a volunteer? ¿Puedo tener un voluntario, alguien que los quiera repetir? To practice, a volunteer. No? No se peleen, ¿verdad? Oh, yes. Who? What's your name? Oh, Jessica. Chris. Okay, we have Jessica. We have Chris first, and then we're going to have Jessica, okay? Chris, let's go, Chris. Okay. Um, I am. I am. I am. Mm -hmm. Sorry. No, it's okay. I am. Um, mm -hmm. You. 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 Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You are. Mm -hmm. We are. They are. He. Uh, sorry. He. 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 He is. She is. He. 
it is. Thank you very much, Chris. That was way better. Jessica, let's go with you, Jessica. Yes. I am, you are, we are, they are, he is, she is, it is. Thank you very much, Jessica. That was good. That was good. Beatrice, let's see. I am, you are, we are, they are, he is, she is, it. It, oh, it, it, it is. Ok, thank you very much. I mean, the others, los demás chicos, alguien que quiera participar, someone who wants to participate. Nobody. Nobody else. Nadie más. Felix. Ok. Felix. Ok, Felix. Let's go. Okay. Let's do it. I am. You are. We are. They are. He is. She is. It is. Excellent. Thank you very much. So now let's move on to the next part. And here we have. Now, ahora que ya sabemos con qué se usa cada uno, ¿cuál sería la respuesta? Let's see. We have 10. Tenemos 15 personas conectadas. 15 students. Let's see. Uh, vamos a ver. Can you, can you see the chat? Uh, en la llamada podemos tener un chat. ¿Todos, ¿Todos tienen acceso al chat? Yes. Ok, great. Yes. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I can see. Yes, ok, perfect. Thank you. Now, let's see. Vamos a empezar. Um, ¿Cuál creerían ustedes? Which one would you think that is the answer on number one? ¿Cuál creerían que es la respuesta en number one? Ok, I am, am. Thank you, Julio. Thank you, Beatriz. Rebecca, thank you, Jonathan, Amilcar. Thank you very much. Patricia, Chris, ok. Juan José, thank you very much. Wilfredo, thank you. I can see it. All right, now let's go to number two. ¿Cuál es la respuesta en number two? Which one is it? R, thank you, Julio. Patricia, thank you very much. Beatriz, Rebecca, Didana, Chris. Okay, thank you. What about que hay de la número tres? What about number three? Is Juan Jose, Patricia, Julio, Erika, thank you. Yes, okay. Didana, thank you. Beatriz, I can see yours. Chris, thank you very much. All right. Perfect. Now let's see. Wilfredo, I can see yours too. All right. So we have, I am happy. Okay. Estoy, yo estoy feliz o yo soy feliz. Why? Porque ya dijimos el verb be, ser o estar. Okay. Yo soy feliz o yo estoy feliz. Either or, cualquiera. You are scared. Estás asustado. O soy asustado. You are scared. Tú eres asustado. You are scared. Estás asustado. Okay. He is small. He is small. Él es pequeño. He is small. Number four. Eh, let me see. Vamos a preguntarle a alguien. Didana. Number four. Which one do you think it is the verb be here? What is the verb be here in number four? Is. Is, correct. So we say, she is surprised. Ella está sorprendida. She is surprised. Julio, number five. What's the answer in number five? Is. It is brown, correct? It is brown. What, which means, que significa, es café. Eso es café. It's brown. Okay, now, Jonathan. What is number six? We are young. We are young, correct? Somos jóvenes. ¿Quiénes? Nosotros. We are young. We are young, correct. Now, let me see Oscar, Oscar Leonel. What do you think about number seven? Numero siete, what do you think? 
Any idea? Alguna idea? No? Alguien? Volunteer? They, they is all. Okay. Okay. They are. they are. Okay. Pay attention there. They are all. Ellos son all viejos. They are old. Viejos. They are old. Now, number nine. Número nueve. Alguna idea? Jack. Yeah, is yeah, Jack is. ¿Por qué utilizamos is? Porque Jack es un él. Ok. So it's a he. So we say Jack is Brazilian. Él es brasileño. Brazilian. So number 10. Is. Is. Correct. Why? Porque nos estamos refiriendo al perro. Y el perro. Podemos utilizar qué pronombre para referirnos al perro. It. It, correct. So, the dog is black. El perro es negro. All right. So, I guess that we're, we're understanding, okay? So, let's move on to the next part. Now, dejamos el verbo to be a un lado y empezamos con greetings and introductions. Antes de movernos a esto, any questions so far? Alguna pregunta hasta el momento regarding to the verb to be? Preguntas no. del verbo to be? No? No. Okay, so I guess it's clear. But if you guys have any question, okay, Julio, it says no. All right. So thank you very much. Now let's move on. Entonces nos movemos a greetings, saludos, greetings, and introduction. Eh? Introducciones, but we mean, in este caso, introducciones de salud. Okay. Greetings and introduction. Everyone knows. See, ¿sí? estos son los más fáciles que ya sabemos. Good morning, good afternoon, or good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Okay? Es necesario hacer el sonidito de la T ahí. Porque la mayoría decimos good night sin decir la T. So, no, we have to make the correct pronunciation. So, we say good morning. Good afternoon or good afternoon, good evening, good night. Can I have a volunteer? Algún voluntario that would like to repeat or make the pronunciation of those? Good morning. Oh, who good are afternoon. you? Oh, Wilfred, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. Good night, good evening. Okay, there is not, no decimos good night, porque nice es bonito, ya no es noche, ¿sí? ¿Ven mm -hmm. por qué es importante okay. hacer la buena pronunciación? Es good night, con la T al final, night, okay? Good night. Uh, I can see Julio, Julio, thank you very much, Julio. Go ahead. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Excellent. Thank you very much. Chris, can you please go ahead? Uh, good morning, good af afternoon, uh, good evening, mm -hmm. good night. Okay, this one, evening, okay? Evening. 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 Okay. Someone else? Alguien más que le gustaría practice? No? Okay. So if there's no one else, we're going to move on. Nos movemos a some others. Here we have, tenemos saludos informal, informal greetings. Saludos informales. For example, hi, hello, you see? Hey, those are informal, son informales, okay? Hi, hello, hey. Now, then we have how are you? How are you? ¿Cómo estás? How are you? Ya cuando hablamos más rápido decimos, how are you? ¿Sí? How are you? But when we speak slow, cuando hablamos despacio, we say, how are you? Okay? And then, 
Number two, es número dos. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? So, um, I will ask you guys, le voy a pedir que en su casa, si ahí donde están, no es necesario que enciendan el micrófono, cuando yo lo repito, traten de repetirlo, ¿ok? Just try to say it, ¿sí? Practicarlo. So, we have this one, que es bien común. What's up? What's up? What's up? Pero no hablamos del WhatsApp. You know the WhatsApp, right? But what's up? Like, it's like, eh, sería como cuando decimos informalmente en nuestro país, ¿qué ondas, verdad? What's up? Okay. So, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? ¿Qué pasa o cómo vas? What's going on? Then, ¿cómo respondemos a estos primeros dos? Decimos, fine, thank you. Bien, gracias. Fine, thank you. Uh, un, un tip, chicos. Un tip que les voy a dar desde ya. Cuando vengamos, cuando veamos, when we see a TH, cuando ven, veamos una letra T y una H, el sonido para la pronunciación que vamos a hacer es el sonido de la Z de nuestro español. ¿Cómo es el sonido de la Z? Solo es aire. So decimos thank you. ¿Sí? Porque otro problema, otro problema que tenemos es que dicen thank you. En inglés esa T no se pronuncia. ¿Ok? Porque tenemos TH, hacemos sonido de Z. Thank you. Thank you. Ok. So, cuando alguien nos pregunta, what's up or what's going on, respondemos, not much, no mucho, not much. Y para seguir una conversación, yo le puedo preguntar, what about you? What about you? ¿Qué hay de ti? What about you? Ok. Now, preguntas hasta el momento, chicos. Questions so far. Are we clear? Claro como el agua o como algo chat andamos algo. por ahí. <laughs> algo. Oh, Chris, I see you have a question. What's your question, Chris? Eh, yo no pude escuchar eh, las, la pronunciación de las últimas dos. Oh, okay. Let me repeat it again. What's up? That's what's up. And this one, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Okay, now let me see. Um, Jonathan, are you there? ¿Estás ahí, Jonathan? Jonathan is not there, probably. Well, anyway, so let's see. Uh, Didana, can you please help me, Didana, with the pronunciation? Las que te recuerdes, or try to do it. Uh, what's up? Okay. Uh, what, what's going on? Oh, I no sé cómo, la verdad. What's going on? How okay. Okay. What's going on? Okay, thank you, Ivana. Not thank you. Mm -hmm. No, it's okay. It's okay. We're going to learn. Mm -hmm. We're going to, vamos a aprender. So, someone else, alguien más que le gustaría participar? Someone that would like to participate? Yo, well. Who, who, who are you? ¿Quién eres? Who are you? Oscar. Oh, Oscar Leonel. Okay, I, go ahead, Oscar. Eh, you have your microphone off. Tienes el micrófono apagado. You have it off. Turn it on. Y hoy sí. Now we can listen to you. It's clear. Go ahead. How are, how are you? Okay. How are you doing? Okay. What's up? Okay. How are, uh, what's going? What's 
on on what's going on uh, what's what going on okay thank you very much oscar that was good someone else alguien más chris okay chris you have your ma okay now you have it on okay how are you mm -hmm. how are you doing 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 mm -hmm. what's up Bob? just what's up what's up mm -hmm. y, uh, uh, el último no. what's going on what's going on okay but thank you very much so okay any question alguna pregunta que alguien tenga so far so far so good todo bien hasta el momento are we understanding me gustaría que repitiera la pronunciación de las de las interrogantes nuevamente porque aquí como que se se, se corta un poquito okay. y me, me quedaba ahí con Okay, no, no problem. That's not a problem. So let me repeat it again. So we have, how are you? How are you? How are you doing? How are you doing? What's up? What's up? What's going on? What's going on? And then we have, what about you? What about you? Okay. You. Okay, so uh, I guess it's clear. So we're going to move on. Vamos a mover a los siguientes. I guess there's no questions, right? No hay preguntas. All right, so let's move on to the next part. Nos vamos a mover a los siguientes. Y aquí tenemos los formales. Si se fijan, aquí aparece otra vez, how are you? Sí. How are you puede ser formal e informal. ¿En qué sentido nos referimos? If we say formal, si decimos que es formal, es porque estamos en un lugar de un context, de un contexto formal. Pero si somos cheradas, si somos old friends, viejos amigos, we can say, uh, how are you? Like, informalmente, ¿ok? So, either or. Now, we have, how are you? What's your name? Ya se ya lo sabemos. What's your name? Nice to meet you. Your name. So, nice cuando name. alguien le pregunta, how are you? ¿Cómo respondemos? Fine. Thanks. Fine. Thanks. Thanks. Ok. Una vez más, Thanks. cada vez que veamos una letra TH en una palabra, ¿cuál es el sonido que hacemos? Z. Z. Z de nuestro español. Thanks. Sí. Ok. So, Thanks. what's your name? Cuando, cuando le preguntan cuál es tu nombre, my name is, mi nombre es, you know, like in my case, my name is Nelson, ok? Now we have, nice to meet you, gusto de conocerte. Nice to meet you too, gusto de conocerte también, ok? So, preguntas, no doubts, dudas, interrogantes. No. Miedos, no? En ese aspecto, oh. todo claro. Great. Okay, so let's move on then. Vamos a mover. Here we have, aquí tenemos pros, posibles respuestas oh. a estas preguntas. Possible answers to these questions. If someone asks you, si alguien le pregunta, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Very good. I am great. Not bad. ¿Qué significa? The first one, la primera, estoy bien. Gracias. Bien. Thank you. Segunda, very good. Muy bien. bien. Tercera, I am great. Estoy excelente o estoy bien. Not bad. No mal. No tan mal. Not bad. Ok. Y para seguir la conversación, volvemos a preguntar. How are you? ¿Cómo estás tú? Ok. And so on. Y así. Let's move on. Tenemos otras posibles respuestas a esa misma pregunta. We have pretty good, not bad, fantastic, couldn't be better, couldn't be 
better. I've been busy. I've been busy. Same as always. Same as always. Not so great. Not so great. Terrible. Terrible. Okay? So, let's go. Vamos a ir una por una para ver qué significa. Pretty good. Muy bien. Pretty good. Not bad. No tan mal. Not bad. Fantastic. Fantástico. Fantastic. Couldn't be better. Couldn't be better. No podría estar mejor. Couldn't be better. Couldn't be better. No podría estar mejor. I've been busy. I've been busy. He estado ocupado. Okay. Same as always. Same as always. Lo mismo de siempre. Same as always. Not so great. Not so great. No tan bien. No tan bien. Terrible. 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 Okay. Now, let's see. Uh, Julio. Hey, Julio. Can you help me? Trying, tratando de hacer the pronunciation de los primeros dos. Pretty good. Okay. Not bad. Thank you very much. Now let's go with Oswaldo. Otros dos, the next two. Oswaldo, Stanley. Yeah. Pretty good. No. Fantastic. El, la tercera, yes. Number three. Fan fantastic. Number four. Couldn't, couldn't be better. Couldn't be better. Couldn't be better. Thank you very much. Now let's go with Patricia Campos. Um, I've been busy. Busy. BC. But thank you. Okay, the next one, la siguiente. Same as always. Same as always. Thank you very much, Patricia. Now, let me see Rebecca. Las últimas, the last two. Rebecca. Uh, not not mm -hmm. so great. Okay. Terrible. Terrible. Excellent. Okay. So, preguntas, dudas. No. Are we clear? Estamos, estamos claros. Como que hacemos un examen ahorita y todo diez. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chris. I see that you have a question, Chris. Yo tengo una consulta. Okay, Patricia, what's what's your what's your este, question? Nos, nos va a proporcionar la presentación como para practicar la pronunciación. Sure, Lo sure. Nos... Yeah, of course. If you want the, the presentation, se las puedo pasar through the WhatsApp group, okay? Se las voy a enviar al grupo de WhatsApp. So if, if you por can favor. practice, yeah, I can send por it to favor. you. That's es por eso que les estaba diciendo que es necesario que todos estén en el grupo. Okay, so I can send it. And you all can have it. Or, si quieren volver a escuchar la clase, ya saben que pueden, pueden, tienen un link donde yo voy a estar subiendo las clases grabadas. ¿Sí? Si durante el día quieren ver el video y escuchar una vez más la pronunciación, pueden ir al canal de YouTube. Ahí les enviaron en sus correos, in your emails. Se meten al link y ya pueden ver la clase nuevamente. ¿Ok? Chris, I, I remember that you had a question, Chris. Eh, solo si podía volver a, a pronunciar la número cuatro. Uh, couldn't, couldn't be better. Couldn't be better. Thank you. 
Okay, you're welcome. So now let's move on. We have, what's your name? My name is, ya sabemos, right? My name is, what is your last name? ¿Cuál es tu apellido? What is your last name? My last name is, mi apellido es, okay? And, and you say, ya dicen su apellido. My last name is, and you said your last name. Then we have, how old are you? ¿Cuántos años how tiene? ¿Sí? Por favor, esta es, la, esta es la pregunta. How old are you? How old are you? Y aquí utilizamos el verbo to be y yo digo, I am. I am. Y ahí dicen su edad, ¿verdad? For example, 16 years old, 26 years old, 42 years old, 55 years old, and so on and so on. Y así, ¿ok? So now, the next question. Where are you from? ¿De dónde eres? Where are you from? Aquí quiero, quiero ser claro con ustedes y hay veces cometemos el error y es normal que cuando alguien les pregunta, where are you from? Ustedes dicen, I'm from San Salvador, por ejemplo, o I am from Usulután, or I am from San Miguel, or I am from Chalatenango. No, esta pregunta, chicos, es para saber de qué país es usted, no dónde vive. ¿Sí? Cada vez que alguien le pregunte, where are you from? De dónde eres, pero refiriéndose a su país, su nacionalidad. So usted va a decir, I am from El Salvador. I am, I am from El Salvador. ¿Ok? I Países. Salvador. Entonces, ¿cómo decimos dónde vivimos? Ahí la pregunta cambia y decimos, from. Where do you live? ¿Dónde vives? Where do you live? Y, y ahí yo digo, I live, yo vivo, San Salvador, San Miguel, Usulután, Chalatenango, Soyapango, and so on and so on. ¿Sí? Ok. Espero que les haya quedado claro eso. So, um, aquí está la pregunta, ¿ve? Where do you live? ¿Dónde vives? I live in, yo vivo en, Soyapango, eh, what, San, San Salvador, La Libertad, and so on and so on. ¿Sí? And where do you study? ¿Dónde estudias? I study, I study at, ya decimos el lugar. In this case, in Safford, Inglés Corporativo. ¿Ok? So, ¿alguna pregunta, chicos? Questions, preguntas, dudas, interrogantes. No? Doubts? Questions? Nothing? No questions at all? No, todo claro oh. como la horchata. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, all right, so I understand, entiendo que es your first day, su primer día, and I know probably it's going to be difficult, see? ¿sí? Probablemente vaya a ser un poquito difícil at the beginning. But then, todo se vuelve normal, común, nuestro cerebro es tan grande y tan big, like huge. ¿Por qué? Una vez estamos con el idioma, automáticamente, that's automatically. Automatically, our brain starts learning. Empieza a aprender, we get to know, we start speaking, empezamos a hablar, speaking, speaking, speaking. And then, cuando menos sentimos, we are already speaking the language, ¿ok? So, um, guys, let me tell you that, déjenme decirles que we have a platform, ¿sí? Todos les explicaron que tenemos una plataforma, right? ¿Sí? ¿Explicaron eso? Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. So, yeah. the, that platform, guys, you have to work. Tienen que trabajar en los ejercicios de la plataforma para poder pasar al siguiente nivel o al siguiente módulo, ustedes tienen que lograr 80%, 80% en la plataforma. 80%. ¿Ok? 
Ese es el mínimo, 80%. For you to go to the next module, para poder pasar al siguiente módulo. Si tienen questions regarding to exercises, uh, de algún ejercicio de la plataforma y no saben cómo hacerlo, para eso tenemos el grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Ok? Si no quiere preguntar en el grupo de WhatsApp, escríbame directamente y dígame, teacher, no entiendo este ejercicio. Puede ayudarme. ¿Ok? So we are going to be there. Sí, ok. Vamos a estar ahí para poderles ayudar. So, guys, um, that's going to be all for today. Eso va a ser todo por el día de ahora. Nice to meet you all. Gusto en conocerlos a todos. Los que encendieron su cámara y los otros, pues algún día probably you will turn it on. Um, so, um, my pleasure, guys. Un placer. So, see you guys tomorrow. Nos vemos tomorrow at the same time, al mismo tiempo, and for the same channel, en el mismo canal, ok? So, see you guys and have a good night, ok? Good night to everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye.